Hey guys, so in this video I just wanted to share to you a small upgrade which I've done it um, in the past few days while I'm preparing to go to work and I just want to share with you guys and this involves the uh, let me just launch here for example my tunar this involves the for example changing from dark to light including the GTK teams and uh, and then some small changes on the waybar for example with regards to the font sizes uh, then this should automatically actually change for example if I change now the font size uh, using the NW look to scaling to small then the way bar text should also change so this is like a small demonstration only so as you can see there is changing also so and on this script I call it um, on my github page I will put it on my pin later on its version hyperland version 2.2 and this should work from the um, my previous hyperland that's the version 2 or version 2.1 probably the hyperland um, probably it will also work on hyperland and also in hyperland uh, ja, uh, hyperland my first hyperland videos so on my github page I put in here that this is a slight upgrade see here slight upgrade of the version 2.1 which includes installation this will is explicitly install the GTK teams capuchin mocha and latte GTK teams because it needs for the transition of the from dark to light and that's the only restriction and this is entirely optional if you don't want and if you want a different if you want a different um, teams you can do so however you just need to change some things so for example on the scripts for the dark uh, light mode you only need to set here the which is the dark GTK team and then the light GTK team and of course I made the script that it will create backup for, for of your files so if and I made the steps here just clone the repo and change to this um, folder and ch mode and then run the upgrade and to revert if you don't want is of course removing the gtk katpuchin mocha and gtk katpuchin latte teams and then of course check first if this if this uh, oh actually this is mistake should be dash just config um, I will change this later on should be uh, on your dot config hyper backup it, if this is present then simply just delete the this one yeah, because it should it should make a backup file here later on when we run the script so if you want to revert then you can just simply delete this one and then move the hyper backup so anyway I will just run the script so of course first is to clone this repo so git clone that repo and then cd into this cd hyperland at version 2.2 and then uh, run the ch mode ch mode plus x can I make it this bigger yet? And then run the upgrade. So upgrade version 2.2. And then of course it gives you a note here that this will explicitly install the 
Catpuchin uh, GTK Mocha and Latte Teams if you don't have those installed. So, of course, I'm just I'm demonstrating these details. So I'm gonna say yes. And if I want to upgrade, then obviously, if you don't want to upgrade, you can just say no here, nothing will happen. Same thing, shall we proceed? No, nothing will happen. So, of course, I want to upgrade. Then it will try to install if it's not already installed. And as you can see here, I have already a um, these two installed, the GTK team Mocha and then the GTK team Latte installed. And then it creates uh, a backup. If not, so let me check that. So here, it creates this backup. So if you don't need, you can just delete this file and then rename this to uh, Hyper if you don't want that upgrade. But just demonstrating first so if, of course you need to log out so it's better <laughs> okay are we on yeah okay so silly me i did log out and ultimately of course obs cancelled <laughs> and then once you already have that one sometimes you will think that the text here this is for example here the text here is so big and you don't want that so for example now i'm changed to um, light team for example you don't like this too big what you can do is actually go to your hyper folder and you go to waybar and then styles then change all this um, all this style and change this to for example, this is now, um, let's just take uh, dark, yeah, here dark, and then just change the font size to 95%. This is what I said. The reason why I have to reduce a little bit is because of, um, I mean, it's too big for me, but if you don't want, if you like this big, then it's fine, keep it like that. If you don't, if you don't want, then you can reduce the font settings on each styles so say uh, set the dash config hyper waybar and then style so you change that one and then you can let's change also the light here this should be the light 95 percent for example so the light should uh, the font should get no it didn't reach us maybe it uh, wasn't that one let me just say oh i changed a different one okay so 95 percent for example the dark and light yeah it's a nice change so we change it again to dark mode as you can see it got reduced that's the font size that is if you don't want the size of the font you can always just reduce this is by percentage by the way because as I showed you in my in my demonstration at the very beginning of the video if you change the font size using the MWG uh, look here if you change this text scaling to increase it to make it look bigger then you should adjust but if you're only using the one uh, here the scaling factor of only one then this should the way bar size should be also same size uh, I mean you shouldn't have any reason to change it and if you want to have a border on the way bar you can do so by going to that config hyper way bar and then the styles let's just take the dark uh, css for example then you can just simply delete this uh, line and same thing on the, yeah this on the tooltip and uh, because tooltip now there's no border so it's just there and then also same thing on the way bar part so just delete those lines so that's dark and then see here for example the light 
you don't have the line and also here don't have the line so if you change to dark mode then you will get this line this uh, Mavo line on the waybar by default I didn't enable it because some guys they want and they don't <laughs> some guys want so another upgrade that I have added into this version uh, 2.2 is actually the uh, layout so previously I have only the default plasma style gnome style dual panel and no panel I have now added the simple uh, layout so I have only hold the uh, menu uh, penguin same thing press press again and then workspace and then the calendar the same as before uh, and then uh, backlight of course then volume control and then the Wi-Fi um, there's no system train here nothing and then the battery should be yeah it'd be battery so I added for you laptop owners um, the power menu since there's no power menu or there's no W lag out so I added it to this uh, battery so if you right click it then the W lag out should show and then if you middle click it is the changing of the blur for example middle click this one yeah and this uh, this is only indicator of the network it doesn't really change uh, it doesn't invoke you for the NMT UI and of course same as the menu right click will be uh, choosing the layout as before right click plasma style for example right click uh, dual panel and then uh, simple and by the way you might notice here that on the part of the upgrade I'm also changing this uh, way bar styles simply that's because uh, uh, I tweak the way bars a little bit so it should look a lot better than my previous uh, configs that's one of the small very small uh, small chains small chains only and of course the waybar layout waybar style still there uh, press uh, super shift w super shift w then you get this uh, styles and then the wallpaper menu is now um, here you can just put any uh, wallpaper uh, and then uh, layout style uh, super alt w then you should get the for example like this no panel simple and then uh, let's change to plasma style then of course change here then you got these changes in here unfortunately there's only two mm, two two of the waybar layout is only connected to that dark and light so if you need to change then you have to go through that one i mean it could be an upgrade in the future and then uh, there are some scripts in here that which probably don't use and you just simply don't delete it for example I think only few people have found out about this Wofi Beats Wofi Beats is actually a online um, online music and this links in here and names of course you can change it so for example um, this is an FM station you see in here. <laughs> I, don't know I cannot hear. And then the Wofi, by the way, also changed the layout. 
the color if you change to dark and black dark and light the wofi will also change uh, yeah so the wofi bits you can just simply change the um, um, yeah the details if you don't like these links of course I mean it's up to you if you want to use or if you don't want to use so go through it I think I have a lot of description here which should be also help to you okay so that's about it that's the same one you want to share so uh, yeah I know from my last video I told you that I wouldn't maybe my last video would be that but you will notice that my audio quality is also not good because I'm just using a USB-C um, or a head f or a phone mic actually a phone headphone so probably the voice quality is not good and I'm in the hotel now I'm playing with my laptop I'm just playing around with the configs and I just want to share this video with you guys so if you like the video please like if you don't like the video please let me know in the comment and yeah so same thing as I said you can upgrade from any of from any of my config um, from any of my config these four configs you should be you should have not any problem because uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying to make them all align so you don't have to you know install from scratch on and on okay guys uh, this is it and uh, thank you for watching if you have any question let me know if you have anything to say please let me know in the comment bye now take good care